Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we're going to be taking a look at an Assassin's Creed set. I'm really excited about this because, well, first of all, this Ezio figure looks fantastic. And then second, this is one of the few sets that comes with horses. So, Mega has done, hmm, I'm trying to think, like four other sets with horses. So there's this one, there's like a Call of Duty set that has just a dude on a horse. There's another Assassin's Creed set called Hatham's Pursuit. That's like the rarest Assassin's Creed set ever. And then the Pro Builders Train had horses. Aside from that, I don't think we've seen the horses in any other sets. So this is pretty exciting. I got this off of the Goodwill website and it is sealed. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box. The Assassin's Creed box art was really cool. I mean, it is CG. I don't like that. I would have much preferred photos, but I like how we get to see, I guess this is the like animus stuff. I've never played Assassin's Creed. I only know very little about the story. So uh, probably a lot of the lore stuff I will get wrong here, but we got a picture of Ezio here. His face is all shadowed. He's got the hidden blade, the Mega Bloks logo down here. Uh, I guess the horses are just kind of taking care of directing the whole chariot because this dude is clearly not driving. And then this is just firing off to who knows where. Um, and then we have the, I think that's like the, I think it's supposed to be like a golden apple or something like that. It's like something, one of the like shards or something. I don't, again, I don't, I'm not an Assassin's Creed player, so I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure that's an orange uh, plasma grenade piece. Got to see... Some more on the top here. This box is surprisingly large. I thought it was going to be like half the size. Uh, there we go. On the back, we get to see all of the stuff, all of the accessories. We can put Ezio into his like normal clothes or his assassin's robes. There's some swinging out swords on the chariot itself. To see more of Ezio. Uh, we have some more sets down here. That's the really rare one right there. That one's pretty cool. The red coats are cool figures. And then we got this one. This one's pretty rare as well. But I think that Borgia Guard, the heavy one, looks really cool. And then Ezio has his red robes. So yeah, pretty cool looking box. It's kind of sad now that the Assassin's Creed line is gone. But let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a closer look. Um. So supposedly... I'm able to open this without destroying it so I guess we're gonna tear this off well okay not destroying it is a relative term I don't know if this box is gonna survive this is actually only my second Assassin's Creed set I've ever gotten the first one was that like fortress one that like everyone got it's a pretty common one but it's a really nice one I might review it at some point Oh my word, this is terrible. This does not want to open. Wow. Okay, I thought this was going to be easy. So much for easy open. You know, I'll just open this one side. There we go, okay. Alrighty. Oh, here's the instructions. That's kind of awkward looking, not going to lie. I don't know why. It just looks kind of awkward. Oh, what else do we have in here? Oh, an addendum. Great. What did they do wrong? Stability issues? Okay, well, that's going to be important. So for those of you who don't know what that piece of paper is, that means that they made some sort of error in the instructions or in the design of the set, and so then printed this paper as an add-on, basically. Okay, so he, what? It's a, an entire bag just for two little cylinders. That's ridiculous. We have this bag, we've got this one, we've got a softer one, so that's three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. So there's eight total bags in a sealed set. There are the horses. Those wagon wheels are giant. Um, 
Oh yeah, there's the figures. Oh, they're all built too. Okay, very cool. So let me go ahead and build this and we'll take a closer look. Actually, let me check the instructions first. Okay, not a ton extra interesting stuff in the instructions. They're just fairly normal. Although the background is really cool. It's got the like Assassin's logo. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so let me go ahead and build this. Alrighty, there we go. It is all put together. And I gotta say, in some parts, it was really difficult, especially because of this. It was really hard to like translate between like how you built it originally and then how you were supposed to change it and then how you were supposed to keep it changed as the build went on. I, I don't fully understand why they did that. I don't know if they just forgot something, changed something later or what. I don't know. But it wasn't great. It was it was it was weird. Um, and then we've got a bunch of extras. This isn't technically an extra. This is supposed to be like the horses, I guess, reins. You're supposed to tie them on there. But this string is so thick, I'm not entirely sure how to tie it off in such a way that it would stay. So I'm leaving that off. And then we've got some extra clear parts. We have some more missiles for the uh, ballista on the back. Just some other random pieces. Ezio's hair, another hidden blade. You know, just little odds and ends. So, yeah, it was it was an interesting build. You could definitely tell that this is older, like Mega Bloks quality stuff. It doesn't stick together quite as easily as some of the newer sets do. But it wasn't terrible. It was just a little odd and a little confusing. So let's go ahead and jump in, look at the figures, starting with the Borgia Guard. Here he is. So this is the dude that Ezio is supposed to fight, which I don't think it's going to be a very long fight. This is just a generic soldier. Um, I don't believe he's exclusive. I think... He came in, maybe not in this exact configuration, but all of these parts have come in various other Assassin's Creed sets. But it's always nice to be able to get some army building type stuff, and you could easily repurpose this guy into just, you know, a random medieval guy. There's his head. That's actually a pretty nice looking head. And then underneath of his, like, armor, he just looks like that, so... If you wanted him to be more normal, you can. Although, personally, I think Mega Constructs figures look weird without anything, like any sort of armor or vest or something on. Um, then he's got his little beret. Uh, his mace is interesting. I thought the spikes would be evenly spaced around the head, but no, it's just kind of all along one side, and then you have one here and here. So I guess you would swing it like this. Then I like his boots. kind of gives me link vibes um and then the real problem comes in with his hands both hands flop around really really bad like really really bad so i'm definitely gonna have to fix this guy maybe this will be the figure i use in the dust it off on how to fix uh this problem not a bad figure it's just he's got some quality control issues that kind of sink the ship of course, though, the main reason most people are going to get this set is for Ezio. And he looks really, really good, although there's some variation between the whites. Like, the upper arms and the hood is almost more yellow. Almost as if it yellowed in the sun, which I don't think happened because this was a sealed set. So, I don't really know why that is a thing. But, that's a little weird. Also, the upper arms are really soft, and so the lower arms kind of pop out pretty easily which i'm gonna have to fix that should be an easy fix you know the same as uh just tightening a joint um he's got a lot of print on here he's got silver print on this like shoulder piece print here there's print on the torso underneath but i'm not going to show that because it's really really difficult to get this piece off so i, I know they like show you switching between the normal Ezio and hooded Ezio, but you really can't switch between them easily. Uh, print continues around the back. We get this really cool like cloth shoulder cape thing. It's kind of stiff, so it wants to stick out a bit. Kind of have to hold it back if you want it to hang properly, but it looks really cool. 
and we don't often get cloth stuff from Mega, so that's really nice to get. And then he's got a sword, which has some excess plastic on it, but the blade is painted kind of a silvery color. And then he's got a hidden blade on this side, and then he comes with the gold apple thing, which is indeed a uh, plasma grenade. Oh, he can't hold it with the hidden blade. Yeah, this is a as orange plasma grenade, which I think is exclusive to this set. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Mega ever did another orange one. So that's pretty cool. And then he's got another hidden blade, so you could have one on each hand if you want. And then, of course, he has his hair as well. So if you want him to be unhooded for a little while. Although his beard is gray and his hair is kind of more black. This is the same hair that they use across all the Ezios, so I don't know, maybe a color change would have been nice. But yeah, really, really cool looking figure. I think the, well, stand up, the Assassin's like molds for all of their pieces was just absolutely fantastic, especially that hood. Looks so good. And then he's got like armored boots, which is kind of cool. Um, actually, let me grab the other Ezio that I have for comparison. There we go. So this is the uh, the version of Ezio that came in the castle set. I don't remember the name now. I should remember the name. Most of you will probably know what I'm talking about. It was like a castle tower with a little piece of a wall, and then Ezio, and then another Borgia guard. Um, this is like his shadow robes, I think that's what it's called. Uh, that sounds wrong now. But yeah, it's like the dark robes, and this is young Ezio. And then, so we have older Ezio here in the white. The white is definitely more iconic, but the black seems more helpful for sneaking. But they both look pretty cool side by side. Oh, hey. Oh, I just realized I could do like the um, Revelations cover using these two. Mm, that might be a good dust it off photo project. So now we move on to the build itself. And I don't know, I have mixed feelings about this because it looks pretty fantastic at first glance. We've got the horses attached to the front. This can move all over the place. There's some nice detail there. Um, that's kind of a little fiddly to keep the horses lined up. But we have like a break. Now, if you tied the string on, the string would loop around here. So when you would break, it would actually pull the horses back a little, which is kind of cool. But again, it's just too hard to try and tie that string on. It's too thick. We got some printed detail around the side. So we have a total of eight printed pieces, which is kind of cool. Big wagon wheels, little tailgate. We have this ballista thing, which looks neat. It's got like this piece to simulate coiled rope. And there's like a handle here. The box shows it being pointed that direction, like towards the front of the cart but it doesn't rotate all the way around. So if you follow the instructions, it will be pointing backward. If you follow the box, it will be pointing forward. This makes more sense to me because you've got the handle. So you can have the guy stand like here and then angle it around. It shoots these things here, these big missiles, but you kind of like, there's really nothing but you flinging it. So you just kind of, Oh gosh, now that's gone. But it works. It just feels lame. I don't know. It, I, I could just pick up the piece and throw it across the room and have the same effect. So I don't know. It's a little weird. We've got a big shield on this side. Seat up here. And then in here, there's like this little handle part. And so when you pull this, the swords pop out the side. So you can like ride past another cart and just kind of shred it with the secret blades which is kind of cool. So not bad. We can seat the guy up here. It's a little hard to get him to stay. You can just sit him like that, or you can have him hold this. Um, it's just so huge. Like sure, yeah, I know there's probably wagons this big, but it's just so big. And this just seems like a traveling wagon, just you know, one you'd ride around. I would understand it being this big if it were say like a trading wagon you know have stuff for you to like stay back here but instead it's this ballista so it's a little weird the scale to me feels off it's just so giant like here there's a warthog for comparison 
really, this thing is as big as a warthog. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, uh, it's a little large. So it's not a bad build. It's just weird. I feel like it could have been better. But I want to take a closer look at these two horses, actually, because I've never had a Mega Constructs horse before this set. Here we go. So you get two horses in this set. One is kind of a tannish brown, and one is more of a white. And first of all, the mold, like mold work and all that for these horses are really good. Like, look at all the muscle detail. That's really impressive. Like, this almost looks like those little just horse statues that people collect. But they pose. So the pegs here are kind of ugly, but that's to put on a saddle. They don't give you a saddle with this set, which is a bit of a bummer. You can have your figures ride bareback. Which is not that hard, actually. He's staying on pretty well. Since you can pose the legs, you can kind of make him grip better. Obviously, that's not the greatest pose in the world, but, you know, you get the idea. Having the figures stand next to them, they're scaled very well. The faces look good. The manes are actually separate. So you put the, put the legs on, you put the tail on, you put the mane on, and then you put this little tuft of hair on, which is kind of cool. But for posing, you can move the tail. That's just a clip. And then the legs are kind of pre-posed. You have the one that's a little further back than the other, but you can move it all the way back to here. You can move it up to about there. That's about as far forward as you can go. Same with this one. Although now I'm popping the leg off on accident, which the legs are a bit genius the way they're done. So they actually attach to themselves like this. See? But they do so through the torso. Or through the body. I don't know. Can you call it a torso? I don't think it's a torso on a horse. Then the front legs can move. And then the knees on the front legs can move as well. You could also kind of bend it backwards. But probably don't do that. You're not really supposed to. But yeah. So you can get some decent poses with the legs. Like that. Then the head can move up and down like so. Um, it's a little loose. It, feel, it feels a little loose in some sections. And then we have kind of a ball joint here. So you can nod the head up and down like that. Kind of do a side to side a little bit. And you can kind of do an inquisitive look, which is kind of cool. Uh, I wish we would have gotten more side to side because the horses can't really look around that much. But that might be asking a little too much. Because as it is, these horses look really, really nice. I really hope that Mega will do some sort of a fantasy line in the future and give us like some mounted knights or something. I would absolutely go crazy if they did a set that was like a couple mounted knights or something along those lines. I think that would be fantastic. But yeah, these are definitely the highlight of the set, I would say. The figures are great. The wagon is all right, but these horses are something special. Well, there you have it. That is the Assassin's Creed Chariot Chase set. Is this the best Assassin's Creed set? No, definitely not. There are ones that are better. Um, but I think this one stands out because of the horses. The figures, like I said, are great. Ezio looks fantastic. Although I think he comes in this form in another set. This guy also comes in another set. The horses don't, though. Or they don't exactly this way. Um, I don't know if these colors are exclusive because I haven't looked close enough at the other sets with horses to know, but this is certainly worth looking into if you want the horses. The wagon itself looks good, but it's just so big. It would be useful for parts, I would say, but as it is, I don't know, it's a little weird. I just can't get behind that scale. It, it, it just, I don't know, it's weird. And then this little ballista feels half-hearted like they they wanted some extra gimmick like the swords weren't enough so they put in the ballista personally i would have much preferred just some storage space there um yeah so overall it's not a bad set but it's not a standout i would say it's worth looking into if you want the horses but i wouldn't pay more than like 30 for this i think 30 was retail and honestly much more than that does not feel worth it Sure, you get a big cart, but at the end of the day, it's just that. It's just a big cart. So, the horses are fantastic. Figures are great. 
but it is just a big card. So keep that in mind as you look for it. It'll be a little more pricey because it is Assassin's Creed and the line is over. And there's very, very little chance of Mega ever doing them again. But please don't overpay. It's not worth $50 or $60. Even if it is sealed, it's just it's just not. I would say $30, maybe $35. $40 feels like too much. Unless you just really, really, really want some horses. Because that's, like I said, the main draw of this whole set. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time.